Hello, this is the Street View interview show. I'm Dave Green. I'm here with my guest, Maria Shahata, and she recently won the award for Best Comedian at the Hollywood Festival of New Cinema. So, so pretty big deal. Yeah. And also, you got that uh, YouTube web series as well. Haven't you? I have a web series called My Super Overactive Imagination. Awesome. Where can that be found? On YouTube. On YouTube. <laughs> you may have heard of it. My YouTube web series on Vimeo. Where is this first location that we are at, Maria? This dreamy street is the street uh, I spent a good chunk of my life on. As you can see, it's very green, very suburban, very nice place for a child to grow up. Um, that house there is where I got my drugs. And uh, no, no <laughs> drugs happened. Let's not get anyone in there. Very, very suburban, very like um, typical. Happy memories growing up here? You know what? They weren't bad and they weren't good. Like, I don't I don't miss Columbus at all, but I don't hate it. Like, I, there was nothing bad that happened to me there. I just don't... It wasn't my scene. You know what I mean? Like, it yeah, wasn't yeah, my... Yeah. I liked uh, big urban cities, like New York. So this isn't really, like, So you wanted to escape? This is... Yeah. All right. So let's take a look at the next place, which is where are you living now? Um, you ready to go? Let's go. Let's go. There it is. Muswell Hill. Yep. That is, um, this is the area I live in now. Muswell Hill, London, England. Just got to go up the hill. It's tiring even on Google Maps. Yeah, that's a pretty steep hill. Yeah. Yeah, my, my thumb's getting very tired. So this is my, this is my area. See, much different than the suburban bullshit we just saw. I like this. How are you finding it? How are you finding London? Oh, I love London. It's it's like my speed. I don't like the commute everywhere. I mean, it took me a long time to get here. Free, free buses. Three different, yeah, and it's just, one bus, two tubes. But that's that's you know that's worth it to live in London. That's me now. Do you want to look at the next place? Please, let's go. Your favorite place in the world. Oh, I forget. You ready? I forget what my answers were for these. So. You ready? Okay. Yeah, let's go. Well, let's find out. Maria Shahata's favorite place in the world. Oh, okay. Ooh. We are um we are in Greenwich Village, New York City. And this is McDougal Street. This is actually the same street the Comedy Cellar is on. Is it? Yes. Um I don't know if it's the same part of the street, but yes. So, I mean, I just I love New York. I love and I, if I had to pick it was hard to choose what part of New York I wanted to say was my favorite. But I think it's um I think it's got to be the West Village. When were you last in New York? Um, probably last year. I go all the time. But I mean, I when you were there for four, when, oh, when I lived there, it was uh seven or eight years ago. And what was happening in your life around that time? I was I was I had just started comedy, and um I remember like bringing out like because there's so many open mics and so many rooms and stuff. So I like took out a notebook and I wrote down Mondays. These are the rooms that you can go to Tuesdays. This is the rooms and how much they are. And then I like made a strategy. So I ended up getting a nine to five job because I was living in Staten Island with my aunt and uncle and they were stricter than my parents were. So I was like, I have to get out of here because they, they wanted me to be home by eight. And I was like, I can't do comedy oh, really? if I have to be back in Staten Island at eight. So I had to move out. But anyway, like, yeah. So I was like very strategically putting it all together to figure out how I can get up as much as possible. And for four years, I did that. And then, you know, I got to L.A. and I just relaxed a little bit. But um, but yeah, I got a lot of stage time in four years. So L.A., I think that's our next place, you know? Yeah. All right. Which is oh. your your least favorite place in the world. Oh, Yes. Not LA, but um, it's this place. So it's this, <laughs> this I fucking hate ice that cream. ice cream cone. Um, I this is Sunset Boulevard in West Hollywood, which is fine. I like it, but right here on the right uh. we have the Comedy Store, and there's just this place is just the like you know how like some places have energy. This is the worst energy in the Comedy Store. Like, from my own experience and from other people's experiences, it's just, it's like, it's it's haunted, which they say, because, like, um, waiters and waitresses would randomly fall down the stairs and, like, all this weird stuff would happen. Um, and on top of that, it just, like, the comics were just miserable. And it was just, like, you, you go thinking, like, oh, the comedy store in L.A. And there were a lot of, there are a lot of good headliners that go through there. But a lot of time, the audiences think they're seeing a good show, and it's just 
miserable open micro comics for hours and hours and hours before the headliner even gets there. You know, and the comics would all hang out there in the back, and that was kind of fun. But for the most part, I just if I couldn't stand hanging out at the comedy store. All right, let's have a look at your next place, which is take me to a place with a sad memory. Oh, okay, this is um, Athens, Ohio. And this is, uh, I think it was, I think it was next to that little dentist's office. It might be this house or that house. I think it yeah. was. Good Lord, I don't remember. I think it was that house. We lived in the back of that house. And, I mean, I just didn't like college. It was just four years of my life that I definitely didn't have to do. Do you know what I mean? I don't remember making any good friends in college. Like, I don't, I don't still talk to anybody who I met in college. I mean, I was, that was the time I've ever been the most depressed in my life. I was having panic attacks. Like, um, I didn't really have like a lot of friends. Once my, my one good friend like dropped out and then I was just kind of left on my own. And so, yeah, college sucked. Hated it. I graduated and the day I graduated, I drove to the Funny Bone in Columbus, Ohio and asked for a job. And the woman in the box office said, no, we're not hiring. And I was like, oh, okay, because that was weird because I just had this instinct to come here. Um, and then so I went to Chipotle in that mall that it was in, and I ran into the manager of the Funny Bone there. And I was like, oh, I just I, I just asked if you were hiring, and, and, you know, she said no. And he's like, yeah, we are. And I was like, oh, oh really? <laughs> that's great. And so, like, and then he brought me in for an interview, and I got a job. And that's how the so kind of, like, the comedy So you worked in comedy course. until you started. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I see. Now we're going to go to a place where you did your first stand-up comedy gig. So we're back in Columbus, Ohio. Um, we're in North High Street. It's like North Campus for Ohio State. Oh, there it is. Ohio State University's uh. campus. And there's a, a campus uh, bar called Scarlet and Gray Cafe. And it's just like all college students. Oh, they still do comedy. It says Tuesday, comedy at 9 p.m. Oh, yeah. So there you go. People's memories are still being made there. Um, that was the first place I ever went on stage. And it wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. People were nice enough. They were listening. I just was very, um, I was very nervous. And I was very like, I had no confidence in myself. So I was just kind of saying jokes. And I was getting like little rumbles of laughter. But, you know, it's a college bar. They could have been a lot meaner. They could have been drunk and just like, get the fuck off stage. But they were listening and like politely laughing. So... I consider that a win for the first time. Take me to a place where something life-changing happened. Dang. So this is my first job in New York. So this is the job that got me out of Staten Island. And um, I ended up moving to the Upper East Side so they can do comedy freely. And like, there it is. That's the building on the right there, that tall one. So I was on the 46th floor of that as a receptionist. And I was the worst oh receptionist. My God. What floor was it? Can 40... we count them? Or... If you... let's, let's say it's there. <laughs> So imagine you being there. Okay, what were you doing? I was a receptionist. Yeah. Um, and I was really, really bad at receptioning. I was just really surly. Like, so I would, I would kind of use it my, as my time to be on MySpace yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and write. And um, anytime any, anybody interrupted that with work, You're like, oh. I got really mad. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was a great little cush job. I had a, a view of, uh, the, of Central Park. Um, the my boss was nice um, it was a great first job and you know i moved to the upper east side and i was able to do comedy all the time and so it's cool so next place a place that scares you okay i mean this is pretty creepy is it not where are we? where are where are we in the world we first are all? in cairo egypt mm. In and your family's Egyptian, right? Uh, yeah. So my parents are from Cairo. Um, last time I was in Cairo, which was 2007, this building was so creepy and so different from all the other buildings. And every time we drove past it, I would, I would, I, would, I was like, "What is, what is this thing?" It's in the middle of all these like modern buildings. It's quite weird. Yeah, yeah. There's like a lot of apartment buildings, a lot of office buildings, and there's this weird thing, this castle, um, and uh, it's. It's creepy as fuck. Who's this guy? Do you know him? Oh, that's um, Emil. Great guy. Great oh, guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He makes some... Um, he doesn't look scared. Uh, a few friends offered to take me to see the, the inside of the castle at night. And I didn't think we could get in. And they have guards standing by. But the thing about Cairo is you can just pay people some money and then they'll let you do whatever you want. So we just paid them money. 
when we toured this thing on the inside. Um, and there was a lot of graffiti, a lot of devil worshippers, which I didn't expect. Really? Yeah. And just, um, I, th- I think bats, but maybe that's just, it just seems like there would be bats. But it was just, it was really, really scary. Right. And I think this is the last one. Okay. Take me to a place that you've never been to, but you would like to go to. Okay. Glamour. Okay. So this is a museum in Mumbai. This is Mumbai. Yeah. Mumbai isn't on Google Street View, so. Oh, I I've was put, wondering. I've put this in a museum. Why Mumbai. I've always wanted to go to India. I don't know why, but India is so foreign to me. Um, I've already been to the Middle East and just India. I love Indian food. Yoga is pretty cool. I don't know. I just, <laughs> it says yoga. Um, I just think it has a really rich culture and I want to see it. All right, let's try and get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Help us. Let's go back. Why are we stuck? Go back to London. All right. Are you ready to zoom out and feel... Whoa. Insignificant. Yes. Bye, world. So that was it. Street View interview. I've been Dave Green. I'm Maria Shahada. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>